What's up, world? Welcome back to Charge Game Podcast. I'll be your host here, Chuck, and today we're talking about that boy, that dog, Anthony Edwards, y'all. But before we get into that video, I want to ask you guys to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you guys can continue to get the drops when I'm dropping my sports media's coverage. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. Back to the video. So as you guys may have noticed in the last video that I dropped about Zion heavy ass, I also mentioned that out of all three, Zion Williamson, John Morant, and Anthony Edwards, that I favored Anthony Edwards the most just because of his fucking demeanor, man. This guy's mentality, that dog in him, man. Out of all these cats in the league, man, he just give me old school throwback basketball vibes, man. And I always noticed that in him, like from the outrageous things he used to say in the post game, like, the post game uh, interviews, he would just like be so fucking raw. Like people was telling this man to chill out, but you can't contain that type of beast in him. Like he just got a different mindset that I really respect. And if you guys watched the basketball movie by uh, Adam Sandler, I can't remember what it was about, but obviously it was about him going to recruit an international player. But Anthony Edwards like was really being himself in there, and he stole the show. Like he stole the movie. I remember the next day, Colin Coward went on air and was like. Anthony Edwards just is a star, like like his charisma. Like I know a lot of people make this comparison to Jordan. I, th I know like a lot of people like to say, oh, he's like the Jordan of this and the Jordan of that. Man, I don't know if it's like his looks in a way, right? But this dude swagger, his mentality. And also this dude is huge. This is a big ass boy. This boy is big and he knows it and he has that confidence. But y'all been seeing this boy ball out. I mean, straight up ball out as he dropped 34 points today against uh, Germany, and they were trailing at first. So, man, this boy stepped up to the plate, you know what I mean? And uh, Steve Kerr has some things to say about this man. So, so even Steve Kerr weighs in, and as you guys can see here, he says, it's unquestionable the guy Kerr said after the game via ESPN. You can see he knows it, but now the team knows it, and I think the fans see it. He genuinely believes he's the best player in the gym every single night, and he's such a dynamic young player. I think he's taking a leap. Well, let me tell y'all something, man. I've been seeing this in this guy, Anthony Edwards. I remember this one time, man, he was uh, uh, in the post-game conference, and they was asking him about how does he feel about load management, and he just briefly said, uh, just show up. Man, if you if you hear, man, just play. Just play. Just play, man. And those words never left me, and I gained a lot of respect from that guy, man. Like, the brother Anthony Edwards just got that edge. He ain't scared of nobody. And it's real. When you see people like LeBron, obviously, we know LeBron like to jump on the train and bandwagon when people, like, you know, with, when it's hype. You know what I mean? But that's another conversation. But I hate when he does that shit. I also fucking hate when Brian Windhorst reports shit, man. It's just something about him that I just don't like. I don't know, man. He's just a fat gooey ass guy that gets on my nerves i just feel like he always had it easy and he's kind of spoiled but i could be wrong but anyway um yeah this guy anthony edwards is the real deal and people just now waking up about this guy man it says here pulling in 34 points Edwards was the best player on the court which is something golden state warriors uh head coach steve kerr spoke openly about like when when kerr sees that type of stuff you gotta think about steve kerr's background he sees that Jordan in him, man. He sees like, man, this guy reminds me of Jordan without saying it, right? He sees that old school demeanor, that old school mentality, like that phys his physical build, even his body is genetically like, it, it doesn't look like it's a part of this generation. He looks like he's straight out of the 70s and 80s, in my opinion, man, with the, like, the way he's built just raw talent and he knows how to use his shiftness and his torqueness. And y'all know this boy be jumping out the gym, like, this dude is real deal the truth. You know what I'm saying? So out of all the players, I think that, you know, John Moran, I think John Moran has, you know, I, I think John Moran is a strong second. You know, don't get me wrong. I think John Moran is dynamic as well. But this guy got that jumper. This guy got the game. He got his head on straight. And out of all the guys, he's the most raw. I was expecting for him to get in more trouble than John Moran. I know he got fined a while back for saying something about, like, the LBGT community and all that. But other than that, man, this brother keeps his head on straight, you know. And uh, I think that the Timberwolves have invested into a jewel, man. I, I can see this guy making some noise up there and continuously because he's already been making noise. But I think when the fans know it, like, I, I don't doubt that nobody's out there listening to this doesn't think what I'm thinking. Or if they saw it, they didn't say, man, no, it's something about this guy. And if you watch that movie which most people watch that movie because Adam Sandler does great producing. 
man, this dude stole the show. Like when I watched, I was like, yo, I, I fuck with this guy. I literally said it just. I was like, man, I mess with this guy right here, man. Just something about this dude. Like I would want. You know what I'm saying? This type of dude, I would just want to hang with and go out with just because he's the type of guy like that's going to be real and have your back. Like, that's just what it feels like to me. Uh, I don't think I'm wrong about this because he hasn't proven me wrong. You know what I mean? But it says, Edward has been solidifying himself as one of the best two guards in the NBA and may be taking a leap into another tier this season. The confidence of Edwards has always been something that stands out and has been evident since, he's, since his rookie year in Minnesota. With this play so far, these exhibition games, Edward has emerged as teams, as Team USA's go-to guy, which is a role Coach Kerr believes he is ready for. And I know that this guy is ready for this role. I'm telling you guys, like, if you listen to what I'm saying, right, his confidence is what makes him go. You know what I'm saying? This is the type of guy, like, you can't, you can't really hold this back. You can't really hold a guy like Anthony Edwards back because his, his, when you got old vets and dudes way older than him. You can't little boy a man, right? You can't, I want you guys to listen to me again. You can't little boy a man. Meaning like just because he's a lot younger, they didn't give him that rookie trip. You can't play with a guy like that. It's just some dudes who, who be about their business. And like you see it in their face without them saying it. That's how Anthony Edwards is. He's a guy that has a straightforward face, straightforward demeanor. He talks shit like no other and he plays like no other. So like he definitely backs it up, man. Like I, you know, you see all the, these folks, you know, like meat riding them, of course. You know, like we ain't gonna speak too much on that again. But we see all these folks meat riding them and stuff, cause you know, you know, like shit, he solidified himself, man, and real recognize real. So of course, all the vets wanna, you know, shout them out and stuff like this, because you know, like it's some guys you ain't gonna play with, right? When you see vets like LeBron and all these other guys retweeting stuff, it's just like they know they can't, they can't touch this dude. And then the Edwards don't clout chase nobody. He be a, when I see him or like when I see him hoop, he's always just like, you know, just straight basketball, you know, just straight basketball. And I admire that about him. And I think that the NBA needs this, man. We need more demeanors. We need more mindsets like this. People who know how to get the bag and also stay true to the game. Ain't cheating the game. Ain't taking no days off. Ain't doing no low management. Straight physical specimen playing defense on ball, off ball, man. Like this guy is all around game. You know what I mean? And I think that the NBA needs to migrate itself back to that. And I've been hearing the noise about how the NBA is going to go to international players and whatnot. But we really have raw talent in the NBA. They just need to tighten up with these mug. Excuse me. They just need to tighten up with these rules. They just need to tighten up with these rules and also allow the game to be more balanced. You know what I mean? Like all this, uh, tr all this weak ass crybaby stuff man we need to get that stuff out of the league and bring more guys in with the intensity that this guy has so just wanted to make this video to give ad all my love and support because i really rock with this cat man so y'all let me know if y'all support this theory as well do y'all think that anthony edwards is that dude he's arrived or you think like me like he's been here you know what i'm saying like they just now catching up to what we already saw let me know in the comment section also let me know any type of other videos that y'all want me to do a video about so i can drop them joints for y'all let me know how you charge to the game peace